The last time Hull Ionians made the 50 mile journey to Otley was March 2019. The fixture saw the team separated by five points and history would repeat itself. Otley, who returned to National 2 North immediately as Northern Prem champions, have won their last two games on the bounce. Having taken sustained pressure from Ionians for 13 minutes, a brilliant break from the backs almost put Flat. Duncan Darling clear. Flat. Close, but no cigar. The Humber side have faced a top two over the last two weeks in Fylde and Sedgley Park, losing both by narrow margins. A lot of this came down to packed power. After 18 minutes, it gave Cameron Burnhill a sniff, but the Otley defence stood strong. Take two. Could hooker Ben Stevenson find a way through? No, he was dispossessed and the cross green side stayed in the fight. They say third time's a charm, and that was the case on 22 minutes for Hull Ionians. Stevenson scored from a mall on the last trip to Otley three and a half years ago, driven over with gusto for a repeat effort here. Lewis Minikin was third in the National 2 North scoring charts before kickoff, but his attempt from the tee was wider than Mark. No. A second chance, though, appeared to be coming. As the visitors clicked into gear with their attacks, Otley was starting to struggle and second row Scott Irvine paid the price for the rising penalty count on the half hour. Kill the ball four, off you go. Two took them all down over here, four not rolling away, too many penalties of the 22, bin. The Northwest Leeds side were involved in a physical encounter which had to be stopped soon after when Burnhill and Sam Taylor both went off injured. The first 40 was played mainly in Otley's half, but a burst down the wing from Ben McGee, whose solo effort was denied by Sam Pocklington, suggested a more hotly contested second half. Andy Rock's side are unbeaten at home in two games, but that was under major threat just five minutes after the restart. Ionian's unrelenting press putting James Sanderson over the line, his first try of the season. <laughs> Minikin had an easier task this time round, a cool conversion and drawing him level on the scoring charts in second place with Tyndale's Jake Rogers. This seemed to be the spark for Otley to start their response. Charles Morgan coming close on 52 minutes, but penalised by the referee five metres out. <laughs> The hosts were settling into an expansive style of play, eventually creating a gap which Clark Wells was able to stride through with 23 minutes to go. As Joe Roundtree put the ball between the posts, the deficit was five. Something of a magic number in this clash. Back came Ionians, desperate for a first win since their round three trip to Wharfdale. Turning the screw in the pack again, they came inches away from the third try, but had to settle for a penalty which Minikin would gladly take to stroll onto a personal tally of 50 points in six games. After defending for 10 minutes, Otley were gifted an immediate response when Pocklington's kick chase ended with a penalty. Step up Roundtree to send the kick through the target, with a little help from the upright. Despite their best efforts for the remaining 10 minutes, the physical toll of the game showed, starving either side of a scoring chance as the day would go to Ionians. Three and a half years ago, Otley took a losing bonus with a five-point loss to Hull Ionians at Cross Green. Isn't it funny how history repeats itself? Yeah, very pleasing victory. Uh, never uh, easy down at this place, and we've got to be happy with the uh, four points. It obviously could have been more with the amount of territory dominated, but the pleasing thing is our approach work was very, very good. We've just got to be a little bit more ruthless when we get within five minutes of the opposition trial, and we had eight, eight visits to there defensive uh, red zone and we did it to convert so that's something we're going to have to address going forward but it's nice to get back to winning ways and the boys are in high spirit so uh, I'm pleased for each and every one of the Ionians. Um, I think it was a nutritional game, I think um, Ionians came with a clear game plan and um, strong up front, kicked the ball well um, and did that effectively. Um, they also did really well on edge, defenders on edge, we didn't really get much go forward and sustain that pressure. Um, you know, we have principles in our squad of outworking our opposition um, and also bringing intent on the ball and I think, I think we struggled at times to bring intent on the ball um, with what they were throwing at us so you know, fair play to Ionians we struggled to counteract that and look after the ball. I think there's always positive out of the game if we reflect on our, our start game against Sedgley moving on to this game today and you know, Ionians took Sedgley pretty close and you can see the progress in numbers really. So, you know, we, we have taken massive strides as we've gone through the season. This was the only game of the first rest week in the 2022-23 National League Rugby season. Check out the YouTube channel for loads of exciting content. While Hull Ionians missed out on a bonus point, the win propels them three places into the top four. 
breaking three of three teams on 15 points. Otley did take a losing bonus to join the 15 pointers, but a negative points difference keeps them ninth, so no changes at the bottom of National 2 North. Here on the National League Rugby YouTube channel, our aim is to increase exposure for third and fourth tier English rugby by creating content such as the National League Rugby Review Show and extended highlights such as this game that you've just seen. We want to do more of this kind of content and that is where you come in. We are looking for budding sports reporters across the country to cover the 56 teams in National League Rugby. Whether you're a player who's looking to get experience in this field, a media student who has a National League Rugby club on their doorstep, or even a fan looking to get in part of that match day buzz, then get in touch with us and you could have an opportunity. Here's how to do it. So send us an email at nationalleaguerugbyreviewshow at gmail.com. Let us know where you're based and also which clubs you'd like to cover and we'll see what we can do. We hope that you're able to join the team and we can create a fantastic community covering National League Rugby. What's up guys, Warren Muggleson here. Thank you so much for watching that National League Rugby video. For more from the third and fourth tiers of English Rugby, subscribe just over here. The wind is pushing me that way. And don't forget to click the bell as well so you're notified when new videos are published.